in the beginning, um, I'd say the end of 2010, or no, we, we met 2000, was that 2010? Like early January 2010. Yeah, yeah, from the time we met, uh, yeah. Don Tripp was, you know, he was getting this situation off the ground. He had, uh, he was getting some traction with the letter to my son and, you know, mixtapes, et cetera, et cetera. Like you said, I was independent. Um, I had some dealings with, with Yo Gotti. And Yo Gotti was trying to reach out to Don Tripp. He actually consulted me in the process, like, should I try to work something out with this kid? Have you heard him? I had just got introduced to Tripp's music, like, right before that. And I, I suggested that he work with him. And that's actually how we got put in the same room, how we started working together, was uh, Yo Gotti was trying to, you know, leverage something with his independent label and have kind of all of us working collectively. You know, when you combine several agendas like that, sometimes things are easier said than done. So what did become of all of that, we recorded four or five songs like collectively, like Yo Gotti, Don Tripp, Starlito, some yeah. other artists and some more stuff. And eventually, you know, we developed, when I say we, Don Tripp and I developed a certain camaraderie and found out that, you know, we were kind of like-minded and, and putting records together or with the wordplay or it was just a lot of things that, that made sense for that for us to work together. And we just continued to make music and probably 10 months after that, we had the grand idea of putting out a, a Step Brothers mixtape. And three studio sessions past that, the rest is history. You know, Tripp went and got a, a situation, had some support from a major for a time. Um, that project just, you know, it's just one of those strange coincidences, yeah. one of the things that just worked. There was a lot of things within our careers individually that were probably more thought out and planned, you know, to a T and just didn't work as well as that mixtape. Yeah. And so here we are. You know, that's how we met. Actually, uh, the Step Brothers, the, the title Step Brothers or the name Step Brothers, for the most part, it come from Star. That's like one of his, uh, I want to say, like his favorite movie. It's one of them. The whole time we was, uh, whole time we was recording before we actually started working on Step Brothers, Craig never stopped playing the Step Brothers movie. And you know, of, of course, I've seen the, the movie before. It might not be, you know, in my top ten like Craig, but uh, I, you know, from from watching it, we we realized that. We we share a lot of similarities to you know the, the the two characters in Step Brothers. You know, one for the fact that you know they didn't know each other, so they didn't know how to how to take each other. And you know, when we first met, of course, you know it's it's always this space when two rappers meet. You don't really know what to expect from a rapper. You expect him to be a rapper. And you know, from sitting down with each other, I think I think Lido as well as I, you know, I sat down with him and I realized he was more human than 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 rapper for the most part. And when it did come to rap, he was a true artist. And seeing that 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 was that's admirable because you don't really see that much. You, see, you know, a lot of people right now they just rap because it's cool. And you know, I, I could see it and I could hear it in him that this is what he loved to do. Because when I you know when I, when I first met him, I, I was actually in his studio. You know, a studio he put together on his own. We weren't in a you know we weren't in the hit factory or baseline or none of that. You know. I was in his spot, so you know when he came down to Memphis, we was in my spot, and just the fact that that I saw that he took his own money, his own resources to build his own studio, that enough said, you know, I mean, that said enough to me to let me know that you know he loved it as much as I love it, and you know from that it's been like it's been like we family. It, it feel like I've known him longer than 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 what going on four years now. Yeah, yeah. So you know it, it feel like I, I've known him longer than that, and you know. We really don't, uh, we, you know, we don't have the, the, the ego bumps. Is is you know that that's almost inevitable for rappers. But you know we we don't have that problem. You know that's because one we didn't. You know it's not a group. Somebody said, hey y'all two get together, and two you know when we're together we're not rappers. You know like you know he, he is truly family to me, like a brother to me. If if ever he need me, no matter what it is, whether it's music related or it's personal, he know I'm not, and vice versa. So you know that's pretty much how to. The name came in. It's, it's more like it, it's a it's a twist on the you know John C. Riley and and uh, and Will Ferrell for the you know for the comedic effort. But for the most part, we really are like like brothers. So I think just to, to add to that, from from actually you know kind of branding our our group our situation so closely to that film, 
the the other parallels was like um like we're both extremely witty. You know, wordplay is kind of our strong suit. And especially considering like where we come from, you know, geographically, like it's strange. It's not it's not the norm by any stretch. And I think recognizing that from each other's artistry and each other's music, we were able to to make the most with what would normally, I guess, be considered the least. Or like some of the things we do as artists, you know, the powers that be, or if you leave it up to a label or executives or people that sit behind desks, they may steer us in an entirely different direction as artists. And when we get together, like all of that is just out of the window. And that was evident from studio session number one. We did six songs, you know, in a, in a night. Like, yeah. I mean, we don't have, like, we're not so similar, like, as people. Like, I mean, we have different habits. We have different ways of doing things. Right. But when you put us in a, in a room with a mic and a console, you know, it's clockwork. Yeah. And so I think with that film, that, that was the other thing. Like, those guys play by their own rules and they did what made sense to them. And that was the strength of their bond. And I thought that was like when we were brainstorming and I presented the idea to do a Step Brothers mixtape, it was largely like hinging on that. Like, hey, let's just do some shit our way. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter if the songs have choruses, Nothing it doesn't else. matter if we. If we talk about things that people don't normally talk about, like that's, I mean that that was, you know, our niche. That was our our branding or whatever. And it just so happened it was already a funny ass movie that you know. Yeah. But that's Drake rapping. When he raps, he's one of the best, dog. Like. He says shit I've never heard before. You don't, like I can't go in somebody else's house and even though they let me wear their clothes and eat their food, that's not my house. 